injured on uh, August 5th of 2006 in Manhattan Beach, California. I was out on the beach playing volleyball with a bunch of my friends and decided to go in for a swim. As I dove in, I went head first and uh, basically just ran straight into a sandbar and a uh, direct impact with the top of my head. Um, and I fractured my C5-6 vertebrae and just instantly paralyzed. could not move anything. There was no pain, but before I knew it, I was just floating on my back and uh, waves were crashing over me and I was just taking deep breaths to hopefully stay afloat and uh, waited for somebody to come find me. I saw a bunch of people um, surrounding someone on the ground and you could tell that um, there was a sense of urgency, there was commotion. All I saw were his legs and recognized them immediately as really big guys, six foot four, very athletic, really um, solid build. I dropped my bag and I just took off. He was talking and he looked fine to me. In my mind, I was thinking, okay, so we'll be in the hospital for a, you know, a little while, he'll be fine. And I guess that was maybe a coping mechanism <laughs> that my mind tricked me into. So we get to the hospital and they immediately take him in for a CAT scan and they leave me in the hallway. And I'll never forget a, um, a female doctor, um, her saying to me, we don't know yet, we're still putting him through the CAT scan, but you need to be prepared for him to never walk again. And then her walking away from me with those last words, that you need to be prepared for him to never walk again. My name is Shnaz Malik, and uh, I have uh, three kids, and uh, Hassam is the youngest one. He go to middle school in the sixth grade. He's really genius. Only thing, uh, he don't walk, other than that, he's 100% perfect. There is no other medicine or any other treatment available anywhere in the world. If there was, we would have uh, taken him there. I'm sure he feels uh, in his heart that uh, he has uh, certain limitations. He, he never complains about it. I'm Asal Malik. I'm 12 years old and I live in California. I live with my family, which is my brother, my sister, and my mom and my dad. I like to play video games a lot. What 12-year-old boy doesn't? And um, sports. Baseball and basketball are my favorite sports. My parents are from Pakistan. My dad's been here for, I think, over 25 years. And my mom, less than that. I think my dad's more westernized than my mom, though. Last year, like I injured my knee, right? And I had to get knee surgery. And when I had that, I kind of realized like how difficult it is and you have to ask people for things, you know? You can't get up and just run and get it. This is, might be how he feels, but I'm only feeling it for a little while, you know? You need to be thankful for what you have. And every day is pretty much like blessed that you're able to do everything that you're able to do. Uh, my name is Ricky Ginto, and I'm a paraeducator, which means I'm a one-on-one -on -one aide. Um, so it's been my third year with Assam. I started with him when he was in fourth grade. This campus has a lot of hills. Whenever he needs help going uphill, I'm there for a safety reason. What do I do now to go science? A lot of kids that I work with normally I work with autistic kids or kids with Asperger's. Uh, with, with Hassam, it's more of a physical thing, so I don't help him uh, educationally. In fact, he's in a math class that's in Excel, um, and he's getting, I believe, an A in that class right now. Okay. 
At times, I do see Assam getting frustrated, some things that he can't do. I know last week, they were doing the long jump, where they run in stride and then jump into a pit of sand. And he didn't say anything to me. He usually, he doesn't express his feelings. But I, I could tell in the eyes that he's like, I, you know, I wish I could do that. 